past really gives context to stories of the present. You know what I mean? I've been to Tokyo twice already. The old otaku resists the new culture of the saishi in the same way their parents refuse to give up cassette tapes. Oh, sorry. The saiba shibito, the cyber den. In the early 21st century, Japan had an epidemic of chronic shut-ins, and the rise of direct link virtual reality only made that worse. Suddenly, people weren't just refusing to leave their rooms, they were refusing to leave their heads! But as the technology got better, the Saishi were the first to figure out how to use their own brains to sculpt cyberspace. Computers are good at thinking in straight lines, but the human brain is capable of so much more. The best virtual landscapes, the most real VR dramas and games are created by the Saishi. Now, even if an earthquake or a meteor or whatever leveled Japan, they still have Neo Tokyo built on the VR net. But enough babbling. If you're interested, I'm sure you could find more out on the mesh or use an induction helmet to visit Neo Tokyo yourself. It's a trip, especially for newbies. Okay, enjoy your drink and let me know if you need anything else. Dr. Yannick Fairlight. I've heard of him. Super rich guy? Used to own System 1? Why are you giving me his card? Yes. He's getting on in years and it would be useful for when he goes out and about. That's why we wanted to see it before. I guess you can take a pee. Don't bust it, though. I scanned this card, and I swear if you break my ROM, I'll be calling your boss. Here's the RFID key to access it. Thank you. This will surely be useful for our needs. Shall we go check it out? control settings. Maybe we could make things a little more festive. Christmas is my favorite season. Should I switch it to snow mode? people, I for one didn't bring any winter wear. Let's call it a day for now. Excellent work! While I still have doubts about the moral superiority of using subterfuge to disperse a protest, we at least accomplished our goal peacefully. To be frank, considering how the human revolution is clearly working against my personal interests, I won't waste many clock cycles puzzling that ethical quandary out. Hmm. Might I draw your attention to those youths over yonder? Counterculture clothing, obvious bad attitudes, and graffiti paraphernalia. Those could be our suspects who damaged my home in the name of revolution. Right. We should approach them cautiously as to not start a confrontation with the wrong individuals. 
They may even point us to the true culprits. Oh no, they've noticed our attentions. Come along, maybe we can catch them. We'll never catch them on foot. Hold on, I'm calling for an auto cab of our own. I know it seems a great deal of trouble for such a tenuous lead, but I have a hunch about them. The wicked flee when no man pursueth. Uh, the auto cab is estimated to take five minutes to arrive. We'll never be able to engage in pursuit fast enough to catch up to them. Perhaps we should call Tomcat. Maybe they can do some bit of techno wizardry and stop that cab. Excellent! Hold on while I connect us. Howdy, folks! How's the search for the data cache going? Actually, that's what we're calling about, Tomcat. We may have located the perpetrators, but they eluded us and are making their escape in an auto cab. We attempted to use a cab of our own to tail them, but it hasn't arrived and they're getting away. Can you hack the cab and stop it? <sighs> no can do, little guy. Security on those cabs is tight, and the dang thing will shut down its external net connection long before I get in. I have an idea. Sit tight for just a sec. All right. I went faster than spin on a skillet. I did a job a few years back and had to break into the city's central traffic network. Do me a favor and don't ask why. The back door I drilled into that long ago is still wide open. I'm logging into the traffic management system now. Wait. Oh, shit. They may not have fixed that back door, but they did install a new counter-intrusion VI. Oh, the damn thing is hot on my tail. Virtual intelligence. They're kind of like Turing, except less creative and inventive, and definitely not sapient. But they're nasty enough at hunting down hackers and crackers, if you're willing to pay for a good one. I gotta take care of this VI. I'm gonna need the two of you to handle the traffic system. Turn, I'm passing control to you. Hold tight. I'm gonna be doing some two sets of hands on one keyboard kind of hacking. Just push on the map and load it up on Turn's face. Sorry, Turn. They're on the move. Here's how it works. Use your display map to keep track of their cab and redirect it back to you. You can trigger traffic nodes at intersections so the cab thinks the streets are blocked off. Do it right, and you should be able to steer them right back to you. You just gotta make sure to stop them where you're at, or else they'll just go running off on foot. I'll put a goal marker on the map for you. You can trigger any node on the map at any time, so plan ahead. I'd say you'll have time for two moves every time they hit an intersection. If they go off the map, though, you'll lose them. Block every road that leads out of our grid, and watch the places with three exits you can't all cover in one go-around. Just hurry. I don't know how long I'm gonna be able to keep this V out from messing on the carpet, and once I kill the connection, this old trick is over. I'll tap into the cab control node they're currently arriving at. Our top priority is to ensure they cannot leave the area Tomcat's given us access to. I'll mark the southern exit as closed first. We only have time to block off two routes before the auto cab will make a decision and move. We shouldn't block the route back here. We have to stop them where we can catch them. Once you get them back here, press the big button on top of the map to shortwire the autocab. 
be careful. If you stop their ride anywhere else, they'll just run off. What do you think our next move should be? Turn, I can't have you talking. It's messing with the signal. It's up to you now. Don't let those punks escape and don't trap them anywhere that's not here. We can access any of the control nodes in the area at any time. Plan ahead and we should be able to get them. Got it? Now, let's go! I'm gonna go stop them, and then we can interrogate the miscreants. What the hell do you want? Who do you think you're messing with, huh? You ain't got nothing on us, and if you don't get out of my way, I'll mess you up! What do you think we should do? We haven't observed them doing anything illegal, and we could potentially make this go over smoothly. Or, we could share news of this encounter with Lexi before things get out of hand. These two seem agitated already, and it may be best to make sure they're handled by the appropriate authorities. Those are the options I deduced. Questions or cops? It's up to you. How do you want to do this? We just have a few questions for you, sirs. If you'd be so kind as to give us a few minutes of your time. Did you not hear what I... Maybe we should just answer their questions. I mean, we didn't do anything wrong, right? Um, right! We ain't got nothing to hide! You a cop? Cause if you ain't, we ain't got nothing in the bag! We're newbie street artists. These are the tools of our trade! These are all above board and legal. We just got done making a piece for a client. That's right! We're artists! Running? Who is I running from? You calling me a coward? Uh, I don't think that's what they were insinuating. Er, right! 
we just got places to get to and gotta go fast. You're holding us up. Enough! Stop assuming you can misdirect us with blustery words and feigned ignorance. I've matched the hues of those paints and the patterns of the bottom of your shoes with 95% accuracy to the scene of Hayden Weber's apartment. Now tell us what you were doing there and why you stole Hayden's data cache. Now you're accusing us of stealing? Why I oughta... Chad, I think they're on to us. Maybe we just answer their questions so they don't go to the cops? Damn it, Oliver! I told you I'm Starfucker now! I only went along with this because you said we would go to a movie afterwards. I don't even care about this human revolution stuff. Just because you're dad... Don't talk about my dad. Fine. Whatever. We'll answer your friggin' questions. Aw, oh, man. No big reason. I mean, he's a big hotshot researcher at Parallax, right? We heard a rumor his place was empty. Who's gonna pass up a sweet target like that? We don't need any more of this tech shit, like your lippy ROM over there. I told you we didn't steal nothing! Be quiet, Chad. I don't want to go to Juvie. Here, you can have it. Yeah, whatever. Just get out of my way. We hope you find that Hayden guy. And we're real sorry. We weren't trying to hurt anyone. All right. Let's go catch that movie. Great. Can we get dinner first? Sure. Whatever you want. deactivated snow mode. Incoming call from Tomcat. Jess just called and told me she has a clear way to the access node. She'll get you inside, and I'll walk you through connecting me so I can access the Parallax network. That should help our hunt. Did you get the data cache? Yes, those punks happen to have it. Oh, great. We don't have time to worry about it right now, though. Go to Stardust and drop it off with Majid for me, okay? He'll hold it to pass on to me once I get there. I managed to trigger an alert within Parallax's network security, and they're gonna be moving their logs from one secure server to another. I need y'all in place of that access node before they do. No time for lollygagging. No problem, Tomcat. We'll make our way there directly after we return to Stardust. We can worry about the weather ROM's malfunction later. Let's go. Our mission for Jess is done. Welcome to Stardust. There's Majid. We should leave this data cache with him first, like Tomcat asked. Tomcat asked me to take that off your hands and pass it on to them later. Thanks for getting it to me. I won't pester you about what it is. I know things are always very hush-hush with Tomcat. I'll make sure they get it later today. Excellent. Thank you.
to start it. Hey, good to see you back. Alrighty, have fun now. Enjoy yourself. Oh, hey there. Do you need something? Among other things, yes. I love live music, and I love trying to find young up-and-comers to play here. Sometimes they aren't the best, but the enthusiasm is what matters, I think. We've had a few bands and DJs actually get some national recognition after playing here, so we're starting to make a name among artists trying to break into the industry. Still, I have to do a lot of running around and auditioning to get acts that I think will do well. I've gotten very picky, but Majid lets me take my time. He knows it's for the best. Okay, I'm gonna get back to this, but don't feel bad if you need to interrupt me for something. Sure thing. Enjoy the bar. You again? All right, I'll let you in. But you better stay out of trouble. Hey, I heard from my friends down the street that the protesters are gone. Must have been you, huh? All right then, I'm willing to give you the benefit of the doubt and return the favor. Tomcat said that if you got to an old abandoned access node, you might be able to find out what happened to Hayden. I called up a buddy who's on night shift for Parallax tonight. He can buzz you in. But if anything happens, you broke in. This puts us at about even. Don't think about drawing any more debits for a while. Good luck. Keep me out of your shit. This is the place Tomcat said we should head to. Unassuming and quiet. I'll be honest, I don't think I would be in this section of the city without Jess giving us the all clear. The crime statistics are quite alarming, so let us get done with our errand here and move on to safer ground. I can't help it. Stealing a ROM is considered petty theft, and I'd really rather not be taken by some miscreants out to pawn me for a minor amount of credits. Our hypothetical kidnapper wouldn't even be punished worse than a slap on the wrist if it were a first offense. Though I suppose I shouldn't get too worked up about the legal system not accounting for machine sapiens. I am the first. That I know of, anyway. You know, right after we found Hayden's apartment in such disarray, I started looking into graffiti and street art more thoroughly. I have never much considered doing any of it myself, but it seems like an interesting avenue to pursue once I move beyond abstract expressionism. The simpler tags, visual shoutings of identity and existence, they exhibit a feeling I can sympathize with. But it's these larger pieces, riots of color and chaos, that really interest me. 
Petty vandalism is beneath me, uh, but there are other avenues for the practice. For example, did you know that Los Angeles in the mid-2030s legalized the tagging of mural-style street art on any building without requiring permission from the owner or city? It was chaos of the highest degree for a while, but now the place is truly remarkable. <laughs> Perhaps I will visit, once this is all done with. Ah, I hadn't even noticed. Do you have much experience with gonzo journalism yourself? Reporting after or during direct participation? If you do end up writing on this experience, whatever you produce would be the very definition of it. You're too close to be objective now, and you're a key subject in this event. It doesn't seem to be your usual style, but you couldn't go another route at this point, and you're in the clear as you didn't instigate the situation. Hmm, I've never had much interest in the practice, but spending so much time around you has taught me to look at events in a different light, perhaps only because I can verify your personal experiences as fact. Sorry, I'm rambling again, aren't I? <sighs> and we're on a schedule. I don't even want to think about this. What if we don't find Hayden? What if we do? My memory processors are shot from the stress of the past day. It's already taken a toll on me. But never mind. Let's find that access node. Let's find Hayden. This is the door to the access node that Tomcat told us about. We need to use the buzzer to get inside. Parallax lock, AN-19 security. Hello? Yes, can I help you? This late at night? Uh-huh. Kids! <laughs> Parallax lock, AN-19. I was wondering when you'd get there. You're at the access node on Cesar Chavez in Indiana, right? That's right. Good. Be quick. Don't touch anything. Got it? This conversation never happened, and you're on your own if you get caught out there. I hope you find what you're looking for. This is it. Let's go inside, and I'll call Tomcat. This place doesn't look like it's had any maintenance in years. I hope the systems are still functional. Oh, I forgot you can't see in darkness. Maybe that switch over there adjusts the lighting. Oh, Tomcat is pinging us. Forwarding video and audio. Howdy! Y'all at the access node? I'm set to slice in once turn makes physical access. Of course, Tomcat. Just walk me through how to connect myself and I'll give you the necessary system permissions to use me as an interface. Just patch yourself into the Lynx terminal down there and I should be able to get started. Connecting wirelessly to it... Now! Permissions granted. Please be careful in there. Don't worry, doll. I'm an old hand at this. You won't notice a thing. One sec. Oh, shoot. Y'all have a bit more to do before I can get the info we need. This system's still running on old cassettes, and the recall slot is empty. Can't call up Hayden's info file without it. 
There should be a cassette on the opposite side of the wall we can overwrite with the recall program. Pretty sure all that one was used for was phone monitoring. You know, from back when phone networks were separate from data networks? <laughs> I swear, y'all, I just turned 22. Anyways, we need to move that cassette across the room to access the records. Figure out how to do that, and hit me back up when you've done it. What the heck's going on down there? The node just lit up with all sorts of VI activity. Did you just... You connected to Parallax's maintenance network? Why would you go online? Now we'll never be able to use this node again. Oh, get to cracking. pressure on them to move the data now, and we'll see if we can't slurp it right out of this network trunk. You would have thought that someone would have noticed and decommissioned this access node when the neighborhood went to hell, but... This mouse is happy to play while the cat is away. Way back when I was a youngin', when I first hacked into Parallax's network, I mostly did it to make a point, yeah? They were just about to launch the MeshNet system, and I wanted to show the whole darn world that their security had more holes in it than Swiss cheese. Of course, I wasn't too shy about poking in a few more holes of my own devising while I was there. After putting in some more tricky software backdoors, I went ahead and deleted this access node off the maintenance schedule. Then, I reassigned the guy who was supposed to keep an eye on it to a different location. They were in the process of buying up a whole gaggle of these nodes in preparation to set up a private network for themselves. All just to use for the MeshNet launch. Maybe a little too confident of them. Most of the software holes have been patched out as they've upgraded their network, but this old place is just as forgotten as I left it. I've been targeting one of their data centers with a botnet-driven DDoS attack, hitting every port into its network that I can find. Ain't likely to do much, but toss in a few attempts to crack the firewall and their VIs are shitting bricks. It's standard procedure for them to move their sensitive data to a different data center in case the attacker actually gets in. Make enough noise and it'll scare them enough into taking some defensive action, which is where we want them. The files are more vulnerable in transit. Now y'all just hold tight. I'll be done with this lickety split. Hmm. 
surveillance camera footage. Oh, oh God. Oh, Turin. <sighs> I'm so sorry. What is it, Tomcat? What did you find? He's... he's gone, Turin. Of course he's gone, Tomcat. That's why we're here. Shit. I, I mean, he's gone. Gone, Turin. Hayden... Hayden is dead. isn't right, Tomcat. Why would they kill him? Can you send me the relevant files? You must have missed something. I, I don't think you should see it, but if you're sure. Parallax, the head security cam footage from the hallway outside Hayden's apartment encrypted on their network. Just a short clip. Looks like Hayden started to struggle with a couple of big dudes when they broke through the door and one of them shot him. I also found some chatter about it on some darknet channels. It wasn't a kidnapping. Somebody went there to murder him. I'm so damn sorry. in this matter, Tomcat. I think I'll walk back to the apartment. I need some time to run some calculations about this new scenario. If you'll excuse me... keep digging through this data until they kick me out of the system. I'll try to find some kind of lead on why this whole thing started in the first place. Maybe I can find something out about who killed Hayden and why Parallax has a copy of the footage. It ain't much of a silver lining, but we have the answer on Hayden's fate. See you later. back. You know, Hayden was a brilliant programmer, far ahead of his time. I am a machine, and intrinsically, I do not have all the glands and visceral chemical reactions that make humans so emotional and brilliant. But his code is a flawless replication of that inside my own personality algorithms. I don't think I've ever felt this... this anger. It fouls my processors and fills my RAM with frustrating, half-finished plans of revenge. My motherboard burns in my casing from how little I can rest. I'm in pain, and I can't make it go away! <sighs> I do not like the thoughts I'm having about the people who did this to him. I... 
I could. I can disable those modules. But if I turn off every emotion I don't want to feel, what does that make me? Would I still be me? If I were human, turning off my emotions would be seen as extremely unhealthy. There is a wealth of information on the MeshNet about human psychology. I just don't know how much of it applies to myself. Either way, Hayden deserves my grief. It is my way of honoring him. It may be the only way I can. I offer it freely. Did you see the jade plant? It's doing well, despite the hardships it has gone through. There is a lesson there. I don't know that I can listen to it right now, but I'll try. Will... Will you keep helping me? I need you. To find the... Bastards who killed my progenitor! I need to finish this. I don't know what I'll do afterwards, but I need to see this through. Justice. Yes, good. I knew you'd keep me from losing myself in this. Let's make sure they have the appropriate time to atone for their crimes in prison. Even if it takes the rest of their lives. I think for now we should keep knowledge of Hayden's death between you, Tomcat, and I. It may give us an edge if the people we seek don't know how much we've already discovered. We'll talk after you've had some time to rest. You likely need sleep, and I need some time to... I... need some time. Hmm. Good morning. I trust you slept well. I had ample time to recharge my internal batteries. <sighs> now that we are both refreshed, I feel it wouldn't hurt to recap our progress and determine if any changes should be made based on our successes and failures. Let's talk about how things are going so far. Since your journalistic efforts are a big part of why I originally recruited you, we can start there. Your inquiring mind has been a huge boost in our journey thus far. As a ROM, I can't talk to people as intently as you, so I must say I'm quite grateful for your skills in that regard. You're diligent in your day-to-day -day work as well, which further grounds my hope in you. Beyond journalistic persistence, let's take a look at how we've performed in other responsibilities, specifically our choices in overcoming obstacles. Our first major hurdle proved challenging, but we made use of our surroundings and found a creative avenue. Furthermore, I am pleased with your utilization of non-violent methods. Eliminating any excessive risk should allow us to move swiftly. Finally, I was quite impressed by your ability to adapt on the fly, as they say, and perform so well when thrust into a sudden situation. <laughs> Lastly, I'd like to discuss how we're getting along with our companions and allies along the way. It's important. I was very impressed with your negotiation abilities with those kids. We got our data cache, and they went on their way, and hopefully learned a lesson too. Jess is a bit of a 
of a harder read, but she did agree to help us out in a big way. As long as her brash nature doesn't tempt you to lash out, I think things will go smoothly. Detective Rivers was good to involve as well, and I can tell you enjoy having a familiar face around. She could prove to be our greatest aid, as long as we make it worth her time. No funny business. Tomcat seems to genuinely care for our cause, and I have no trouble with letting their expertise guide us. Out of everyone else, they seem to be easiest to get along with, too. And finally, you and I. I must say, we have worked together better than I ever expected. I hope you feel the same. I feel confident in our combined ability, and I enjoy your company as well. Please continue showing me around the city as we continue our search. Unfortunately, we've just about run out of leads. Perhaps Tomcat was able to find something of use in Parallax's network while they were inside. I hope so, but I feel a little bad for relying on them as much as we do. Always going so far for Hayden. They must have been close. Oh, speaking of them, incoming call from Tomcat. Forwarding video and audio. Morning. Karen, how you been doing, hon? I'm fine, Tomcat. Thank you for your concern. Well, okay. Just say the word if I can help out in any way, you hear? Of course. In fact, I was hoping you might have a lead for us to start working at. Otherwise, we're down to canvassing Hayden's address book and seeing if any of his contacts have an idea about who might have had a desire to target him. But that's just fishing in the dark. Well, I pulled a fair amount of data from the Parallax service before they managed to kick me out, but it'll take me a while to go through it. A lot of it's unrelated. TPS reports, maintenance logs, juicy meat for other corporations, but about as useful as dirt to us. It'll take me a while to decrypt all of Hayden's files, but maybe we'll find something there. So, no, I don't have as much as a whiff of a trail on who's behind this. Though, I, I recently got a strange request from a friend of a friend. Someone's been messing with the articles of a news organization named Augmented Eye. It seems like the network security head there is asking around for cybercrackers to help figure out how their reports are getting changed. The original files on their servers are untouched. In their system, everything looks peachy keen. But when you view the site from the outside of the network, things have changed up. A word here, a phrase there, it's subtle but often has a big impact on the article's tone. Someone with deep access to Parallax's mesh net is changing what's being shown. I ain't sure if it's related, but maybe y'all can head down to the main KCOB offices and try talking to the gal that runs Augmented Eye. Her name is Zim. I ain't got the time or the desire to stick my nose that far out for a stranger, but it seems like your kind of deal. Hmm, it does seem to be a bit of a stretch. But if we have to wait for you to work on the data we've collected anyway... Alright, I'll pass the word along that you'll be in sometime today to stick your noses in. And I'll send y'all word as soon as I get anything worth hunting down. Excellent! Thank you, Tomcat. We are grateful for your continued assistance. No problem, Taryn. Are you sure you're gonna be okay? Maybe you should take a little more time. You've been through some shit in the past few days. I said I was fine. Thank you for your concern, but I am fine. I have already handled the reality of Hayden's death. It's time to move on with the investigation. I I'm sorry, I didn't mean to step on you. I'm, I'm just worried. So, uh... 
I'm here if you need anything. Understood. <sighs> I apologize for my tone, Tomcat. We'll be in touch. All right. Later, turn. Okay, we have a lead, however tenuous. I've highlighted the Cos IO Corp office building on your map. Also, while we were talking to Tomcat, I received an email from Dr. Fairlight. Displaying. Ah, greetings. I hope you'll forgive me for a voice-only message, but I'm undergoing my treatment would not call myself presentable for a video call. Still, I wanted to inform you of an idea I had while looking into our mutual acquaintance's disappearance. I haven't had any luck with my contacts inside Parallax, but I was reminded of an old friend by the name of Melody Flores, who may know more about the nature of Hayden's research. She's the owner of Flower Cybernetics, and Hayden has been known to work closely with them on projects involving the intersection of Parallax's systems and the implants that Flower designs. Melody and I are no longer on speaking terms, so I'm afraid I can't introduce you. But perhaps the intrigue of Hayden's little robot will get you entry into her home. I hope this lead serves you well. If you need anything else from me, I will be in and out of the hospital room where we met for the next few days. I will send word if I have any other insights or discoveries. Yours, Dr. Yannick Fairlight. Interesting. I had no knowledge of Hayden ever working with Flower Cybernetics. But now I'm starting to understand just how little I really knew about his research. Maybe this melody can reveal more about the purposes of my construction. Hayden must have kept my development secret for a reason. Hopefully we can talk our way in. I have highlighted Melody's home on your map. Okay. We can now either follow Tomcat's lead to KCOV or Fairlight's lead to Melody's home. Up to you where to go first. Tomcat's led us in the right direction so far, but Fairlight has resources and his tip might end up being more relevant. It depends on what you want our focus to be on in terms of tracking Hayden's trail. Should we follow the media or the tech? It's fitting. They're the two factors that make me OSF so unique and wonderful. If we explore them both to the fullest, there's no way we won't be closer to the answer. 